Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another one of our videos. One of the most unique qualities a dog has is their tails. They use their tails to balance themselves when they're running or walking. They use their tails as a rudder when they're swimming. And of course they use their tails to wag when they're happy. In this video, we're gonna be featuring how to scissor up a poodle tail, which is a very unique tail. So watch to the end to see how it's done. And this is Jax, the lovely poodle we'll be featuring in this video. Jax is a one-year-old poodle, and he's still getting used to the grooming process. His tail is actually a little bit matted in this video, so we're going to be doing a lot of brushing and combing just to get it prepared for the scissor. I'm going with the grain of hair with the 10 blade here. Normally for show, you'd be going against the grain. You may even opt to use a 15 blade, but being that it's a pet clip, we don't want to go any closer than we really need to and risk irritating his tail. I'm coming up under his tail here, and I'm shaving about just under halfway from the base of his tail to the tip. Now I'm just starting to brush, and like I said, his tail was a little bit knotted, so I'm going to be doing a lot of brushing here. I'm always supporting his tail with my left hand, trying to separate and really get to the knotted area. I'm using a large universal slicker brush here. This is all being done with the prep. So we really just want to fluff this tail out and get it ready for a scissor. This is after the bath and the blow dry. So I'm just really combing out and really getting any excess knots out. So now I'm just clipping again, coming up under the tail. and we're just going a little bit less than halfway up the tail. Now I'm just combing out and getting ready for the scissor. Guys, you want to be really, really careful in what I'm doing here. You don't want to clip the end of the tail, so make sure you're only clipping hair. I'm just clipping the tip of that hair off. Now I'm just starting to scissor around. And we want to make this come out as round as we possibly can. Jax has a really beautiful tail, guys. I'm using curved shears here to get a more round effect.
it's a little bit tedious you kind of want to keep the dog as still as possible and I'm just again supporting the tail with my left hand you want to be careful here to not cut too much off and what we're trying to do here is we're really trying to balance the tail with the top knot of the head so in other words you don't want to cut the head too short and have a real bushy tail or a too short of a tail and a real bushy head you really want to try to balance the two and Jax has come a long way guys he wasn't always this still but this is about his sixth grooming and he's really really doing great fluffing out any little excess hair that I see and just trying to do as good a job as I can. There's your before. And here's his after. Guys, that's about it for this video. Give it up for Jax. Again, guys, this might take a little bit of practice, but just keep in mind matching up the head with the tail. And before you know it, you'll be able to do this yourselves. Guys, thank you so much for checking out another one of our videos. Please like if you enjoyed this video and please subscribe if you're new to our channel and we'll see you in the next one.